Hi guys, welcome back to Data Every Day. Uh, today will be a very quick video in which we'll use a uh, sklearn pipeline to um, train a random forest model on this data set of fertilizer types. So we're going to try to predict the type of fertilizer um, based on a series of features. So let's hop into the notebook. Um, we're going to use NumPy and Pandas for working with the data. And then for pre-processing, we're going to use the train test split function from sklearn, along with the one-hot encoder, standard scalar, column transformer, and pipeline, all from sklearn. And then our model will be the random forest classifier. So let's go ahead and import all of that. And we will load in the data. Uh, so here, data equals pandas.read CSV. And we can grab the file path over here from the CSV file. All right, uh, <coughs> paste that in, take a look. And let's also get some information on the data set with data.info. Oh, I have to boot up the notebook. Okay. So it's just starting up. Uh, and we can run it. So there we go. Okay. So uh, we only have 99 rows. Um, and we also have uh, a number of different fertilizer types. So if we look at that data sub fertilizer name dot unique, we get the unique values. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different fertilizers. Okay, so let's uh, start pre-processing. Now we're really going to do minimal pre-processing on this data set because it's a pretty simple and clean data set. Um, but the only thing we have to do is split the target column off of the rest of the data and then one hot encode these two columns. So all the values in these columns don't take any ordering, so they're nominal features. Um, and each of these values is going to get its own column, uh, will, which will be encoded with a one or a zero, depending on whether a uh, example has that soil type or crop type. <laughs> okay, so let's split off the target column from the rest of the data. So I'm going to call that Y, and Y will be just the fertilizer name column. And I'll make a copy here. X will be all the rest of the data. So that will be data.drop fertilizer type, uh, fertilizer name from axis one. And we'll make a copy. Then we'll do our train test split right away. Um, so that will create four new sets of the data. X train, X test, Y train, and Y test. And we're gonna use the train test split function for this uh, from sklearn. We pass in X and Y, specify a train size. We'll do 70%, uh, keep shuffle equals true and give it a random state so we can reproduce the shuffle on the split. So this will send 70% of the data to the train set, uh, which will be X train, Y train, and the other 30% to X test, Y test. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then there's really only one more thing to do, which is uh, construct the pipeline. Um, so within the pipeline, we're gonna wanna pre-process the data, scale the data, and then fit the model. So uh, we're going to start off by creating our transformers. In this case, we only have one transformer, which is the one-hot transformer that we're going to use to uh, apply one-hot encoding to both of these columns. So uh, let's call it nominal transformer, since it's a nom they're nominal columns. Um, whoops. And this will be a pipeline itself. So it's like a sub-pipeline. Uh, and then the steps of the pipeline is just one, which will be one-hot. Uh, one hot encoder from sklearn. Uh, I'm going to include sparse equals false so we don't get a sparse matrix back as output. Then we'll construct our preprocessor using this pipeline. So the preprocessor uh, is going to be a column transformer. And column transformer allows us to apply a pipeline to a set of columns. So we specify the transformers in here. Uh, and here we're going uh, to call this nominal transformer pass in nominal transformer that we defined above. And then we def we, uh, we define which columns we want to apply the transformation to. So that's just these two, soil type and crop type. So I'll paste those in. Now I'll clean this up a little. Uh, and then I'm also going to include remainder equals pass through. So this will ensure that um, the other columns that are not touched by this column transformer uh, will stay on the data frame. All right, now we'll create the model, which is going to be the whole pipeline. Uh, so that's a pipeline. 
this is our main pipeline here. We specify the steps. First, we'll have our preprocessor. Then we'll uh, that that takes on uh, that's the preprocessor we created here. Then we'll scale the data after it's been preprocessed. And here, the only preprocessing is the one hot encoding. So uh, we're going to create a new scalar object here, which will be a standard scalar that will give all the columns the same range of values. It will do a shift and scale on each column to give it a mean of zero and a variance of one. All right, and then we'll give it. Uh, we'll specify our classifier. So today we're using random forest classifier, which is an ensemble model from sklearn, uh, and that's it. Uh, oh, sorry, this should be standard scalar, not scalar standard. All right, there we go. That's it. Now uh, we'll start training. This is only one line. Model dot fit x train y train, um, and that's it. it it's fit, uh, ready to go. We'll get the results. Model dot score x test y test. Uh, so this will return the accuracy score evaluated on the test set. So let's just print it out as a, uh, a nice print statement. Uh, test accuracy. Uh, we'll display it to two decimal places with a percent sign, and then we'll format that by passing in model dot score. And I'm going to multiply it by 100 so we can see it as a percentage. And we have 90% accuracy. Uh, so fairly good, especially considering we have seven different uh, fertilizer types. Um, we can also maybe get a classification report. Let's just go up and do that. So from sklearn.metrics, import classification report. And then down here, we'll print it out. Print, uh, well, we'll create one first, CLR equals classification report. Um, we're gonna have to pass in Y test, and then we need a set of predictions to compare it to. So let's get that here, which will be Y pred, uh, and that'll be model.predict X test. So we're creating predictions, we're gonna pass in the predictions to the classification report, uh, and then print out the classification report. And here it is, you can see each uh, fertilizer type and then the precision and recall score for each one. Now uh, we can see that four of the uh, categories, four of the, um, well, we don't have a very large support. There are not very many t test examples here. But you can see we got 100% correct. Uh, that's the F1 score is 1.0. That's the same thing as accuracy is 100%. And only these three were a little problematic. This one really isn't, this is quite good. Uh, this uh, fertilizer and the top fertilizer, this, which is our worst performance. But overall, the model's doing quite a good job. I will say, though, we do not have a lot of data to train on. So this is a very quick notebook. It's more of like a speed run video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more content and leave any comments you have in the section below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.